<laughs> okay, I'm back. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be problem. Oh, I know what it is. My internet's probably fucked right now because it's probably like a peak time. Yeah, so that's issueous. Ooh, fucking hell. Hold your horses. Yeah, this could be a problem riddle stream. Um, I'm hoping that my internet is good enough to continue streaming, because I like streaming, but the internet's kind of shitty. Alright, and you wait here. Uh, I'm going to put another one out, and you're going to fight me IRL. Well, not IRL, because I doubt, I doubt I could take them on IRL. That would be dropped from a plane and land in the water, then... Oh, yeah. I see. I don't know, I've got to figure out a way to take out um, submarines now, because apparently Penguin's working on that as well. Uh, oh, everyone left because my stream ended, apparently. <laughs> Never tell them the odds. Oh, there you go. Okay, I was just reading some comments. Um, I think everyone left because the stream died, or maybe Steam did the Twitch just failed at counting. Hopefully that's it. Anyway, um, what do I need? I need the island runway. Perfect, glorious. Yeah, that silly penguin. That I moved it out of the way. Oh, good, good fact. I am in a plane that is so agile that when it turns, the engine stops because no oxygen is. That's not a good thing. <laughs> Do you mean it just flips out? Um, Modern Alive. Oh, yes. You're still here for my heart pack. You're just like, going to tear it out, sell it to some... I was going to say Germans, but I, I don't know much about like German mafias, so who knows. Oh, be more of a bitch. Pilot. <sighs> I might make them collide so it's really easy for me. Alright. And break. Sick. Perfect. Uh, Hawk Jeweler, you're not that late. You missed, uh, like, one good dog fight, ish Oh, it's still, yeah. Well, I mean, if your engines flame out, the main thing about turning well is not to just totally lose control. Well, it's to not lose velocity totally, because you'd need velocity to stay in a turning match, which is often how dog fights end. Uh, stream loading is annoying as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I miss good internet. Fuck you, London. There was a really massive, like, bang this morning. Like, I woke up to this massive blue flash and this bang. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck was that? Pretty sure it was terrorists. Because, you know, obviously everything right now is terrorists. Still didn't... Fuck you, KSP! It's not on the runway-ish! Yeah, but still. Um, was pretty worried that uh, something had been blown up in London. But it turned out it hadn't really. I'm going to refresh the stream real quick, one second. Apparently my stream configuration quality is acceptable. Thanks, Twitch. Ugh. Alright. Alright. Uh, Alright. Oh, it's playing me a thing. <laughs> Fuck you, London. Oh yeah, it's two, 2016 now. Hey, the Wolfie Hun. Uh... Oh, rapier engines for combat. I guess you sort of have something akin to an afterburner with that, but they don't have very good thrust to weight ratio, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend using rapiers for air combat. I mean, it seems just kind of like you're gonna just run out of velocity again. Got to keep your velocity. Yeah, it was probably Penguin doing his crazy t terrorist stuff. He's a Nazi, not a terrorist. I've been watching World War II in color on Netflix, actually. That's quite good. Okay, right. I can launch another one. I might have to just fly it over here and land it. That'd be shitty. People again. Yeah, do bomber jewels. I guess I could. Um, but again, this is an Athenian democracy, so only really my moderators get uh, 
votes, so. <laughs> Full broadside. Wait, you can't turn without rapier engines? How so? Maybe you should put some, like, control surfaces on there. Someone says, what the fuck is Netflix? Like, that can't actually be... Okay, fuck this. I'm just going to launch it on the, uh, on the normal runway. Netflix is that thing that's basically the best thing on the internet right now. Uh, oh, people are back. Nice. It's a streaming app for watching awesome TV like BoJack Horseman and others. I don't know. <laughs> the thing, that thing from Netflix and chill. Fuck Netflix and chill. I want Amazon Prime and commitment. How do you not know about Netflix? Oh, maybe you can't get it in your country. Where are you from, Wolf? the Wolfie Hun? I mean, not to be racist, but it sounds kind of like you're from Germany. Um, and surely they have Netflix there. Someone says flame out. Oh, I see. Maybe you should just build a plane that doesn't flame out when you turn. You pay every month and then have lots of TV, like Breaking Bad and other stuff. And the... Oh, Hungary. Okay, well, I see. Um, yeah, you get... Well, break it, Breaking Bad's, yeah, that's one of the big things that drew people to Netflix. But there's way, way, like, they make their own content now, which is awesome. Like BoJack Horseman. I fucking love BoJack Horseman. Uh, I don't know. I mean, 9gag's okay. I mean, but, you know, Netflix is actually more functional. <laughs> and, you know, there's always 4chan. Although, 4chan's kind of, you know, steals your soul. Make a cruise missile with guns. I could use rocket pods only on bombers. I don't use rocket pods. Yeah, Penguin puts rocket pods on his fighters. I really don't think he, um, I'm going to have a problem with his fighters. He also w way over arms them. He apparently is putting three Vulcan like articulating turrets on his fighter. And it's like, okay, yeah, you're going to have a lot of firepower, but you're never going to be able to use them because you can't turn with an extra 1.2 tons of random bullshit. Uh, Netflix, well, no, I mean, Netflix, Netflix, I mean, you know, it's kind of a name. Uh, <laughs> I'd argue the Pirate Bay has more choices than either. I guess it probably does, except that makes you a bad person. Apparently, um, game piracy is just going away soon because the encryption software has gotten so good, which is good, because then people don't pirate games. And the main thing about pirating games is sure, do what you want, I'm not judging you, but don't just don't say you're doing it to test the game like, oh yeah, I want to see if I'm if I want it, because that's just a lie, really. I mean, don't lie to me. <laughs> and it, the thing is, is now you have Steam refunds, which are actually, despite what everyone says, because they just want to keep pirating games, is actually really usable. I use it often when games just aren't very good or don't run on my system. And you get two free hours of the game like that, so you could just test it there rather than stealing it. Because you should support the games industry. Uh, so yeah, all right, shit. Ooh, touchdown! Oh my god, this was so stupid. What are I? <laughs> yeah, let's take off again. <laughs> I may have gone in a little fast. Uh, I only use Pirate Bay because I have no money. That's fair enough. I mean, it's probably not the best course of action, but at least, like, you just, yeah, I don't have any money. Like, when I was younger, I'd probably use it because, like, I don't have any money. And at least you're honest. I don't care what you do as long as you don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Um, oh, and the worst people who are, like, the people who are all high and mighty about it, who are like, oh, no. Everything should be free, and it's like, you really don't understand the realities of the world we live in. And it's like, oh god, fucking people. It's like, oh, but open source. Open source is fucking terrible. I'm just gonna, you know, okay, I'm still coming in too hot. Nice, nailed it. Fuck. God damn it, god fucking damn it. Ooh, new plan. It's almost like get a shot, yeah. I use Steam pre on almost every game I buy. Smart. Man alive, I mean. Uh, yeah, I have a plan. I'm just going to move actually off the runway. Yeah. Yeah, you should, uh... You should, uh, you should definitely buy a Kerbal Space Program. It is, like, the best thing ever. 
<sighs> oh, I'm not using one not one point zero point five because, um, cur because collaborative warfare, and curve inside doesn't work with it. So, you know, face. Oh, the pilot wasn't even on. So, I'm gonna move this way over there, and then I should be able to launch from it. Uh, air crash investigation KSP edition now on Twitch. Ooh, didn't need that. That's only a missile, missile. Ugh, 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 ugh. That's got to be out of the way enough for me to launch a plane from there now. Yeah, they don't put DRM in KSP because it, it's just gonna get removed. Doesn't help anything. Just fucks up the people who buy it. It's like um, that you play. I was I was just like I want to play some Assassin's Creed 2 the other day, and then I was like, oh yeah, I'll just launch up this. Steam obviously worked, and the new play just keeps crashing. So basically, they've robbed me. Is what I want to say. <laughs> Tape is doing his Jontron impression. I see. I don't know what that is, but okay. You better put me on the freaking thing. Put uh. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just reading some comments. Hey Dave, I'm going to print the Sprawrance class ship I sent you a long time ago. Oh yeah, I think I vaguely remember that. Fuck, in the wrong place. Sprawrance class, yeah. I uh, never really did a huge amount with those like fan submission things. I probably should have. I did like one video, but I don't know. A lot of the, it, It's just quite hard to think of stuff. And some of them were just crazy. Some of them were actually really good. A lot of them use reaction wheels. Although that's actually often a very good way to, like, steal yourself some more acceleration. It's La Lars! Lars is here! Oh, Nimitz. Oh, cool. Hey, Lars. How you doing? Oh, I do remember that modern alive. That was actually awesome. I just couldn't use it because, like, it was so laggy. I can't believe Lars is here. Yeah, I'm I'm good, Lars. How are you? Okay, bye the flying commander. Oh good, now we have two people in my um Athenian democracy who can vote. Um yeah, I probably said this earlier, but this is now an Athenian democracy, so you're gonna wanna get ready for that. Um and probably you should you know, learn what it means. Alright, we're gonna actually get some dog fights uh soon. I actually did do one earlier for the people who turned up. Earlier, um, how shitty is the? Uh, apparently, I'm not dropping that many frames now. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, not that many frames. Um, hey, Dave, I created a Mark III at sea level plane. I see. I think my uh, some of my fighters can do that, but obviously, it's not super useful because it burns all your fuel. But it is kind of fun to see something go Mark III at like sea level. I didn't know tape streamed. Oh yeah, Insatiable Dragon. It's uh, been a long time since I've streamed because I just haven't really gotten around to it while I've been at university. But I felt like doing it today. I haven't got to go back to actual studying stuff at uni for until Monday, so I have lots of free time. Not that um, the first term of a computer science degree is particularly taxing because it's the first term of a computer science degree. Uh, and I've done some before, so. Uh, Hawk Dueler. So if you are using an Athenian democracy, does that mean your faction is Greek-based? No, I just stole the democracy idea. Um, can you make a missile that can nuke Penguin, just in case? <laughs> yeah, I probably should. I should probably also land a moon base so I can actually use nukes, because, um, you know, I might actually need them for when Penguin inevitably launches some nukes. Although, I might just defend myself from them at first. But yeah, also Harpooner is coming in. So, if I assume some of you probably know half uh, Harpooner from Harpooner 53 from somewhere. <laughs> One and a half minerators. Well, you can fall asleep later, Lars. You have things to be doing. Athenian democracy things. That also means you're the only people who can vote, so. And me, of course. It's also how the Territorial Arctic Protection Entente is run, although people don't survive, soldiers don't survive very long. 
in the Territorial Arctic Protection Entente, so there's not a ton of people who can vote. So at this point, it's pretty much a dictatorship. But not because I wanted it to be. Because of, you know, just just happens that way sometimes. Yeah, coffee is for the win. You're a mechanic. I feel like, Lars, you were in the armed forces or something. I don't know, maybe I was dreaming. I dream a lot of random crap. Um, I'm probably gonna download a few of your collab warplanes and use that website that I forgot the name to repro- Oh yeah, I should probably put them up for uh, download at some point. I do have a Dropbox where you can get some stuff, but yeah. I do have my own 3D printed stuff, don't have the webcam on right now, but um... Okay. Well, only a few people can vote isn't democracy. Well, Mad Matt, that's why it's called an Athenian democracy, not a real democracy. It's the way I like to I like to keep it tight knit so I can keep track of everything. You know, a lot like a million people, that's a lot of people to deal with, you know. Alrighty Roo. Let's go fucking fight some shit, shall we? That was Hitler's excuse. I didn't want a dictatorship, it just fucking happened. Well, I mean, you know what they say about me in collaborative warfare, so, I mean, maybe that's just, yeah, maybe I should just embrace it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good would you say you are at hugging? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm probably not the person to ask. Probably people I've hugged. They would probably tell you fantastic. Because I'm so beautiful. Obviously. <laughs> because I can say that because my face camera isn't on right now. Greetings, Frosh Mit Bart. I think I said that perfectly. Hitler never said. Well, you don't know everything Hitler said, Pack. Yeah, I think I'll be Twitchy or Penguin. You mean the ones who aren't politically fucked? Um, like I've realized that I am. Ooh. So, how many of these are going? Two! Okay, alright! Yeah, I, uh, I'm not in a fantastic political situation at the current moment in collaborative warfare. Um, it's probably relatively easy to tell. Alright, let's try and shoot down two bombers without firing off missiles, because missiles are bitches. So I'm sure Penguin will use them. <laughs> yeah, getting in with the propaganda. And that means I don't have to keep switching targets as well. Kill. Okay, not killed. Okay, now there's two of them. Find them on this guy now. I should probably get the auto-targeting BD Armory thing working. Get fucked! Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, I'm gonna be able to read the chat for a while, because I'm gonna- Oh, he's on my tail. He's got my six! Oh, and he can turn faster than me. That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should really record all the tests I do with this. I've done, like, probably about a hundred dogfights now, so I think I'm probably gonna be winning the air war. Um... I spe oh! <laughs> he said. But that's fine, because those are my planes, so that's a good thing. Alright, let's land this sucker. Oh, holy shit. Okay, let's bail out then. Oh no, let's land this sucker. Tape equals God. That wasn't from the chat, I'm just, uh, just, you know, saying. And... Perfect. Landing. Nailed it! <laughs> oh, I'm so perfect. Got wrecked by those HSIs, though. That's one. Where's the other one? I got nailed by a missile, though, so... Alright, let's go again. Uh, someone said... Uh, someone says, you, you're quite good. I'm doing a special IT course on my school. I say, I did computing at my school, so... I win. Because everything is a game of winning. Get shredded. What mod do you use for the cockpits? Those are from QuizTech. They provide really, really awesome fighter cockpits. Some, like, F-35 looking ones. Um, how the fuck is that cockpit flying? Because it has wings on it, Lars. Read a book. Read a book about wings. Read a wings book. <laughs> yeah, got ya. Dave, do you remember my back bomber? I actually do, Modern Alive. Your, your, I, uh, your craft were really memorable. That's why I'm remembering all of these. Um... Someone says, I'm 14, tape. What is... Did I just... What? <laughs> I, I mean... Alright, okay. The F-35 is... Shit, all of the technology is amazing. Yeah, the F-35 is basically bullshit. Um, I designed something vaguely F-35-y, but it's better. Um, 
for this. Uh, the F-22 was good at dogfighting, um, but also really shit at being not... It, it, was, it didn't work. I've explained this already in the stream, but apparently stealth capabilities didn't work in the rain. It cost about $350 million per plane. It was, like, just... Load, it could hardly communicate or something. Ooh, nailed him! Fucking hell, that was a good shot. Nailed his engine. I'm gonna get sidewinded from behind, though. But if I can swipe across... Oh! Okay, missile avoided me. Oh, still got a missile lock. Okay, I nailed one of the planes. He should be down soon, unless he somehow guns me. Um, Harrier. Oh, I do like the Harrier. I mean, it's not... It probably actually would lose out to the F-35, because it's pretty slow. But it actually did serve us pretty well in the Falklands. Um as of actual fighter yet. Um, I will show you my... I mean, you could have just watched my video on my new Air Force, but I probably will use my new VTOL at some point, because I love it, so... Um, that h Mark one down there is fucked, and I reckon I can pretty easily take on one by myself. Um, ugh, fuck it. I could go to missiles, but I don't want to, because that's so boring. I will be going to missiles more in, like, actual collaborative warfare, because obviously I care more about winning than it looking pretty <laughs> in, a, in a war of just surprising intensity at this point. Okay, I'm, he's going too slow. I'll just nail him. There we go. Victory to Peter. Because I am Vegeta, King of Saiyans! Prince of Saiyans. Seriously, don't watch Renegade for life. Your life is basically empty. Uh, target, please. Target, dick. Target. Target. I want to fucking shoot him with a missile. Oh, shit. <laughs> that almost went horrifyingly. Okay, which one's in the air? That one. Uh, the F-16. Oh, yeah. Uh, Modern Lab, the F-16 is amazing. It is probably one of my fighter, my favorite aircraft. Um, along with maybe the Eurofighter Typhoon. Because, obviously, I like British stuff. Actually, I don't, but I do. The, I don't know. It's, so <laughs> uh, it's not British, though. It's European. But still, you know. Uh, oh, lucky I have some Hellfire missiles left over. Fucking, nah, I'll leave them. Um, the F-22 wins, I seem to work amazing. Yeah, oh, yeah. The F-35 as a dogfighter, as like just a air superiority fighter, compared to an F-15, I think it wins out like in a two to eight dogfight. And when they were testing it, it won, it's like kill rating against the F-15 was 108 to naught. Um, so, you know. Wing, not wing. Wind, yeah. I thought it's wind design? Yeah. Oh, the Harry was designed in 1967. Did not know that. Um, make a Warthog-style plane. Alright, well, I actually already have one. Um, I could show you it in a bit. Warthogs are useful for some stuff, but the main attraction is their big forward-facing gun, which for me isn't super useful, but I have built one. I've built most planes, just in case. Two to eight? Uh... 2 to 16, actually, was their best. Um, Revant Ped Hardy. Like, against F-35s. Just, like, 2 on 16, and it still won. Which is just insane. But they was just riddled with so many other problems. And it also, for every every hour and a half in the air, on average, there'd be a critical failure. Um, that also... I think, on average, every hour in the air needed about 20 hours of maintenance. Because they were just so shittily made. <laughs> Because they were made to please politicians, not to win wars, which is kind of shitty. Because, I mean, if you're going to do something, do it for the right reasons, not the let's please everyone reasons. I mean, surely the last thing you're aiming to do with a fighter jet is please everyone. Oh, nice dodge, Peter. You glorious bastard. And now I'm going to be killed by that missile, I bet. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's, um, let's do that one more time and I'll do some other stuff. If you like F-16 so much, you should play Falcon BMS sometime. I probably should. A-10 is good. Is only good for attacking. Yeah. Oh well, obviously a, a Warthog wouldn't be amazing as a. Um. Do I have any coffee left? As as like a dogfighter, it's made for just serious, deadly ground offense. Although it can lose like a lot of wings and shit and still be fine. Spitfire, Harrier, Warthog, Vulcan, and Lancaster best planes ever. I don't know. I'm partial to the lightning in the F-16. Who got a Skype message? From whom? Tape, you should be proud. Alright, thank you, Penguin. Glorious. Glorious to us, Hotska. 
Oh, I ho I'm hoping he's going to tell me that my plane killed his plane. That would just be great for this stream right now. Oh, shit. Uh, your flat cannon at Hamba absorbed 20 Hellfire missiles. This is a battle report from Penguin. My flat cannon at Hamba absorbed 20 Hellfire missiles and two cruise missiles before kicking the bucket. <laughs> Fucking awesome. How great are my turrets? Seriously, I'm going to win collaborative warfare. Um, my new flat cannon's even better. That's fucking glory. Glory to Osatsuka. Glory to Osatsuka. Oh my god, how, how great is Scott Manley? The F-35's flight performance are okay. Yeah, the thing is, since it's replacing... Apparently it's got to replace the F-16, which is like the best fighter jet ever, which just seems like a really dumb idea. I mean, <laughs> I just... Oops, fucking out. Oh my god. I'm actually having trouble controlling this. It's because it's above Mark 1. This is actually really hard to fight with above Mark 1. That's the problem with the Harrier as well, is it can't do supersonic. But it did basically win as the air war in uh, the Falklands. Okay, which one am I picking? I think I'll take this one, lead it round, and just kind of... Oh, got shot a bit. Luckily, this has two engines, and it can still fly with one. Although, I did try... Oh, no, the reason it flipped out earlier was when I had um, one of these air intake shot off, but it also lost a bit of that, you see that wing on the bottom? That's like a lifting plate, and one of them got destroyed, so it had a roll and a yawn juice, which made it almost impossible to fly. Okay, I'm being chased by something that will definitely reach me unless it runs out of velocity. That's the only way you can really beat one of these h at ones is just turn for long enough um, that it runs out of velocity, because it is faster at turning than me, but it only has one engine, and its thrust-to-weight ratio is much worse than me. Although it is a very light aircraft. Actually, shit, it might actually be better. I've got to look that up. No, this is more powerful than that. Um, in terms of thrust away ratio. Okay, they've backed off, which is good. Um, why do you need to outperform the enemy if you can just screw it up using technology? Obviously, I can just hit it with missiles. Um, but, you know, obviously, sometimes you have to go to guns. Oh, I'm also not at full throttle. That's why I'm losing. God damn it, me. 20 grams. Oh, fucking... And the game crashed. Woo! Yeah, game crash! Yeah, okay. Shit. Tate, did you cover that thing in Nokia's or something? It only got shot a bit. Oh, 20 Gs. I read that's 20 grams. I made a fighter that pulls 20 Gs. Is that safe? Not really. Yeah, 9 Gs you can do in a Eurofighter Typhoon, but nothing else really. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, okay, this is issueless. Wait, I'm just gonna fucking die. Uh, what am I looking for? How is window capture not a window capture? Why are you such a dick? Monitor capture. Thank you. Um. Oh, another Skype message. Oh yeah, no, same Skype message. Alright, let's reboot KSP. Yeah, that happens a lot with the trillion mods we run. Whew. Just gonna make sure the stream's intact. Thank you. Perfect. Just hack them. <laughs> yeah, just just hack the planes. Uh, I doubt planes would have would be super easy to hack. Surely you would just not let stuff get in. Anyway, um gonna get some water real quick. That's a nice thing about where I live now, is I have an ensuite, so I have a sink in my room. Well, in the room next to my room. Any plans to use ICBMs or are strategic bombers the way to go? That's uh, a good point, because I could see the point of using an ICBM over a strategic bomber if you're only hitting one target. I have been working on some um, intercontinental non-nuclear missiles. Um, so yeah. <laughs> iTunes. Yeah, I had to use that for something. It's kind of an eye. I do have an iPod somewhere, but I don't use it because why would I? I can probably switch back to game capture now. Nyan Cat? Yeah, 64 bit Kerbal Space Program, bitch. And not on Linux. Kind of an odd idea, but how does a giant bomber that drops drones sound? Um. Yeah, I, I've already sort of made that uh, for defense, but for attack it is possible. I know um, Aganarch has done it. 
pork doula. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bomber also has some um, howitzers and guns on it, so it's quite AC-130 like. Hundred and two F sixteens and a thirty seven F thirty fives for the RNLAF. What's that? The Royal National Lichtensteinian Air Force? Okay, wait, you're from Netherlands? So R and L I don't know, what what does that stand for, Lars? You've have a plane in a plane. I heard you like planes, so I put a plane in your plane. <laughs> Nukes of the future, they are. Um, it's currently turn 12, turn 15, nukes are coming. And so is the evil Perfidious Harpooner. I know, he's, he's fine. I've got to be nice because he has a lot of political weight right now. Tape, you realize it probably just took that... S tape, you realize somebody probably just took that sound. Yeah, and there's going to be a tape dub for Nyan Katsu. It was so... There was no effort to it, though. It's just Nyan, 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 Nyan. But yeah, feel free. Soundbite. Naturally, Soundbite Penguin. I mean... If you watch my um, Sins of a Galactic Empire, you'll hear his uh, great songs. Build a plane firing nukes in the nukes and nuke clusters. Uh, if you look at my nuclear bomb video, which I assume you'll have seen because it has like 15,000 views, um, that drops three nuclear bombs. Do you predict a cold war between the tape and any histories after the two dictators are dealt with? Um, well, my, you want to hear my actual prediction? And don't tell anybody, but, uh, uh, <laughs> I heard you like nukes, so I put a nuke, so I nuke. Anyway, my prediction is, no offense, Twitchy, Twitchy's gonna die. Because Aganarch is quite, it's pretty hardcore. Um, and I'm also against Twitchy as well, and I think Twitchy hasn't done a ton of battle stuff, and he's admitted that, that he's not like the, uh, uh, the pack YouTube, the point of a cluster nuke is to be just fucking awesome. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I reckon Twitch is gonna go. Harpooner? I'm not sure. If we assume that he wasn't here, wasn't joining, then it would just be me, Penguin, and Aganarch. Now, Aganarch technically can't fight me in- can't fight Penguin until I'm dead, so you would think that after Twitchy is gone, he'd ally with Penguin and crush me, which is what I'm worried about. However, I think, given that me and Aganarch could easily control Congress without the Twitchy, we could just reverse that and um, basically just annihilate Penguin from Congress. So I'm hoping Aganarch will be loyal. Um, maybe I'll send him some planes or some, I don't know, whatever Aganarch likes. Money. No, Lars, don't go to bed. I love you. Um, not enough. I made one that could drop 12 SAR bombs. Holy shit, modern life. I mean, that's that's pretty devastating, although we can only launch one a turn, so. Um, someone said ISIS. Tape, uh, make a MiG-16, a Mi, a Mi-163 for design fighter. Eh, anyway, um, let's take out the Empath Mark II Sabre. Which is kind of vaguely f 35 but it has two engines and it's just better. Actually awesome at dogfighting, weirdly enough. And could land on my new aircraft carrier. Oh, a Messerschmitt. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, Emmy. Okay, that does ring a bell, the Emmy 169. A Messerschmitt. I did make something sort of like a Messerschmitt once uh, to use in this big dogfight video, but that never really went to through it, it came to an eye. Uh, Alright, so let's veto all the shit out of this. Um. Uh, and that. The nice thing about this actually, given that it has two jump jet engines, is it can use the jump jet engines without the VTOL just to be an STOL, which is really useful for AI defense mode. Which is quite nice. Alright. Here we go! Uh, I should... Ooh, uh, ooh, are. Oh, wrong engines. Don't you hate that? Oh no, I still shut them down. What's going on? Thank God for VTOS. Alright. Put a howitzer on a fight. Levbop, goddamn, I think if you were in collaborative warfare, you'd be very much like, um... 
I don't know, I think I'm the least overboard. I know Twitchy and um, Aganach just make crazy stuff that's just kind of funny to look at. Penguin makes normal looking stuff, but goes a little overboard. Like if you look at his fighter jet, I swear it had like a howitzer on it and had rocket pods for some reason. Um, but yeah, and my stuff's relatively subdued. Because the thing is, is, when you're in a fighter jet, do you really want 50 missiles? Or do you want just like 10 missiles and then not die? It's F-22 with VTOL. Yeah, I think Quizaz, that's actually relatively... Because it's more F-22-y than F-35-y, and it is a VTOL, so... Yeah. Also, these tanks are bullshit. They're supposed to carry 100 units of fuel, and only carry 50. I should sue whoever sold them to me. Probably A industry. So, someone says, I like your hair. Thank you. Um, I'm not on camera right now, but if I switch this camera on really quick, and then drop all my frames, and then take it away... Um, oh, I guess you probably came here through the video. Smart. But thank you. I had it cut because it was ridiculous. Uh, the F-16 is length... Yeah, the F-16 is tiny and awesome. Someone says chocolate chicken. Oh, it's Joe's... whatever. Space ICBM Launcher Plus. Space is hard to defend in currently, so I don't think I'd do that. I think the best way to defend your nukes is just a ship like a big hangar. A big metal hanger. Um, a couple of turrets and a couple of uh, HSI Mark 1s. Six goalkeepers and four flags. What's going on? Um, oh, yeah, you. we have limits on our turrets, though. You can only have one major turret, like a goalkeeper or something. On boats, you can go a little more crazy, but yeah. You should push for ICBMs to be able to be deployed in lieu of ground... Oh, yeah, ICBMs are basically ground units in collaborative warfare now, fun death. Um, because obviously they're not as good as planes. Same as helicopters. Oh, sorry, Papaya guy. Uh... Oh, fucking hell. Oh, yeah, we're in the fight. Probably should be paying attention. That doesn't really sound like something I'd do. You know, pay attention. Uh, I'm gonna use guns again. Now, this uses chain guns, mostly because it's easy to shoot the ground. And also because they're surprisingly effective with this aircraft. Is that one taken off as well? Doesn't really look like it is. Oh, it is moving. Yeah, okay. Serious mag effects. Yeah, this is much less maneuverable than the HSI Mark II and one, um, but it is. It, it, but c it's crazy guns do make it reasonably easy. Do you have limits on armor? Not really. I mean, my turrets are relatively armored. They don't go crazy, but I built them in such a way that it's very hard to kill them. Just hence uh, Penguin's message, just saying my. Uh, Turret absorbed 20 Hellfire missiles and two cruise missiles. I can't wait to see that. Also good that he's working on his turn, because I want to get on my turn. Problem is, uh, Aganarch has started doing these like really awesome videos where um, he, he has like scripts, basically, for his uh, Kerbals to say, because uh, then it's kind of like a story sort of thing, because I think... Oh, shit, lost a wing. Yeah, that's why you fly your fighter and not your VTOL. Fucking die! Oh, I'm still in control-ish. Okay, fuck it, missile time. Oh no, I need the Sidewinders! Ah. Ah. Oh, I thought I could just... Yeah, these missiles aren't aiming properly. Fuck you! If I'm dying, you're coming with me! Glory to Osatsuka. I'm being hounded by these. These are, I guess, would be my closest thing to F-16 since they're light, small, en small and single engine. Okay, if I had an abort system, I'd save you, but... Valentina! Ugh. Oh, well, she drowned in the grass. <laughs> okay. Um, what about tanks? Phew, we don't have a ton of rules for everything. We just, when something comes up that we think needs ruling, we put a rule in place. But tanks are currently, I do have a tank in progress, which can go on land. It's a hover tank. But yeah, who needs wings anyway? Just always carry nukes, just in case. Just like, as a standard. <laughs> this fighter uh, carries uh, two Hellfire missiles, uh, carries six Hellfire missiles, two Sidewisers, a nuclear bomb. Um, just as like a standard thing. But when we launch a nuke, that's uh, all we can launch per turn, and it has to sit there for a turn. So we have to have things already laid out, and you can't launch them instantly. You should steal Penguin's asteroid idea, but instead use it to wreck the moon. Smart fun death. Your name really does live up to your plans. It would be a fun death. This is what you get for not letting me spam dank memes. 
Papaya guy, don't spam dank memes. You'll just give my moderators more to do, and then they'll get more weight in my Athenian democracy. I'm gonna get some more water again. I'm my mouth is really dry. Oh, I'm just yeah, I'm over here. It's fucking London and it's hard water. Oh, grim. Same concept as the bomber. Put a nuke in a truck and drive it into the pit. A thing that might be shot quite quickly. Uh, kamikaze nuke, maybe. Chain guns? I want to do this with guns because it's fun. Mad Matt. We are already colonizing the moon. I haven't, but uh, Penguin, Agonarch, and Twitchy all have moon bases. Although not Twitch anymore because Agonarch dealt with that. Um, but they all have moon bases for mining ore to make nuclear bombs. Um, I don't, because I just haven't really got around to it. Um, I've been busy fighting in on Earth, on Kerbin even. Because that is where my focus is. I'm protecting the Arctic, and I don't want to heat up Kerbin at all, because that would melt my Arctic. And I also want the Antarctic. Ooh, nail the wing, I think. It's fun when you just get little wounds on aircraft. It's not fun when you're flying and are going to die unless you get major wounds on an aircraft, but, you know. Oh, shit. Luckily, this is also twin engine, so it can lose one, but I'm usually... Oh, shit, I don't want to get into, like, a jousting match with one of these, because then we're going to both shoot each other. Uh, ooh, also had a minor stall there. Luckily, it was only minor. Uh, luckily, my guns have insane turning capability, so I could probably get that guy. No, 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 no! Nailed it, but I am now in a stall. And it doesn't recover particularly well, and... Oh. Yeah, I didn't design this to compete with two HSI Mark 1s. It can beat one, probably, but it can't beat two. All right, let's try again. Can you just mine an asteroid instead? Uh, build your own damn moon. <laughs> I guess I could build my own damn moon, but that's not really the rules. Ugh, nuke the moon. Oh, holy hell, yeah, that's smart. That They wouldn't fucking expect that, would they? They're like, oh, he's keeping his nuke in space. I wonder what he's going to do with it. And then just nuke their nuclear facilities. I like your thinking. Whomever said that. Mad Matt. You are truly mad. <laughs> That's no moon. I'll do it if I eventually get a message from Penguin being like, That's no moon, man. It's just not a moon. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Not that I would ever apologize. Don't die this time. Oh, I will. It's two basically F-16s versus F-35. Think how much of a murder that would be. Two, F two F-16s against an F-35. I guess I could use missiles, but I don't really want to. Hey, 36 people. It's not bad for me. Uh, stream quality is looking relatively not terrible. I mean, not good, but... Oh shit, they're already in the air. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. This is why never use tape as your pilot. You'll just get distracted by stuff. Uh, watch Penguin make a rule that says only bases... What? I don't know what you're talking about, boy. Oh, you mean nuking stuff. Well, once you nuke a base, it's off the map. So it's kind of a shitty thing to do. T Penguin says he'll only do it to stop me nuking things. But I think that he won't bother with nuclear deterrent if I don't have nukes, because obviously that's not a nuclear deterrent. But, so yeah, I think he's probably just going to nuke me unless I get some nukes. I might just try and buy some off Harpoona so I don't have to bother launching a moon base. Although it would probably be just be cheaper to launch a moon base, given how collaborative warfare works. Um, ooh, going to get shot. Oh, lost. <laughs> Shredded. See? They're fucking 60. This is why I'm using um, HSIs as my base defenses. Look how fucking good they are. What would you make... What? What would make you use a nuke? Um, I don't know. Probably a very small provocation. Penguin being like, mm, Tape's new fighters aren't very good. Nuked! Yeah, probably something like that. I was pretty pissed off when he flew my Empav Raptor against uh, the Grasshopper, blew off the front wings and complained about it not being a very good aircraft. Yeah, because you fucking blew off the front wings. What about mechs? Already done a video on mechs, um, Papaya Guy. I assume you've seen it, but then actually not very good. I'd just rather use a tank. Yeah. Alright, let's try this one more time. 
I'm going to try and get behind them. I'm, so I'm traveling at Mag 1. So I'm going to get behind them and hopefully gun them. After this, I might... Mm, don't know what I want to fight next. I might take on an Empath Raptor. Just to see how wrecked it gets. Because, I mean, the Empath Saber is getting wrecked. So, yeah, I'm going to swing around the back. Oof. Starting to lock up at Mag 1. Twitch draft mod? Not entirely sure what that is. Uh, uh, nuke penguin. Yeah, it has to happen. Oh, uh, yeah, I probably will have to get some nukes at some point. Either as a deterrent or just because I kind of want a nuke penguin. Um, I can't nuke his, Ar his Antarctic, though, because I kind of want his Antarctic. Because um, obviously I'm, you know, very fond of the Arctic, so it just seems like a logical. Thing. Uh, <laughs> okay. Alright. Time for some more silence as I try and shoot these planes. I'm gonna just get and try and travel as fast as possible. Nailed them. Oh, shredded that one. That's why these turrets are quite useful, because they're 30 millimeters. Oh god, I didn't take off his engine, so he's still technically in the game, and I think the flight computer might even handle that, so. And my main problem right now is this guy. I really can't have turn him in my VTOL. See, yeah, see how easily he's getting behind me? This is why I use them as base defenses. Because, fuck off, can you run from this? Until it eventually gives up when it loses velocity. That's its only weakness. Oh, I think the HSI's gone down. Thank Christ. <laughs> now it's one-on-one, -on -one, something I think I can probably win. Ooh, and I can shoot backwards, because these freaking turrets are balling. And they're really light. I do like these turrets. They do work very well with this. Um, might show you the bit of video in a second where I, uh, if it if it'll work, because um, it's like uncompressed. Oh, oh, good shot, me. Oh, I nailed his engine. He's out of it. Woo! F thirty five. I mean, Empire Mark II Saber. <laughs> oh, I clipped off some wing as well. Let's just inspect the damage. Yeah, he's fucked. Although we could land quite easily. We don't want him landing. What if this were John B. Kerman? I've decided I only really want to kill John B. Kerman in a dogfight, because that's the only really deserving death at this point. He survived a lot of things. Oh, whew. And one over 14 will fly. Conscript Kerbals. Any one over 13 will fly. Yeah. Uh, tape. There is there a limit on the number of exosuit Kerbal soldiers you can deploy for the newfangled bomber? I don't know, maybe I should try doing that more. Exosuit Kerbals. No, if I depends what specification I build them to. Because they pretty much... If they were a plane, I can only launch one a turn. If they're basically like a hardcore turret, I can launch two a turn. If they're, um... Uh... If they're little and tiny and only have two chain guns and two Sidewinder missiles or Hellfire missiles, I can launch four a turn dropped from a plane or space. So, I could go a lot of different routes with Max. Okay, I've stalled. I'm probably going to die after winning that fight gloriously. Oh, good. That's what I wanted. Good fighting, Peter. You're so good at this. I know. Thank you, everybody in the chat. Kerbals with guns mod. Problem with that is you can't get anything to shoot back at them. I don't think. Alright, I'm going to VTOL down to the ground. Show you off my mad VTOL skills. Although, they're not actually that mad. Um... Uh, and I am also in a terrible position for VTOLing, so I'm going to switch back on my engines. You be the love child of Soviet Russia and Imperial Japan. I think I probably would be. I think that's probably my role. People say I'm a Nazi. I was just kind of not that objected to the Nazis. Which would imply that Agonarch is the Nazis, which he's not. He's just a bunch of private armies, basically, I guess would be what he would be. What will be, will be... Oh, shit. Yep, that's probably not what you want. Oh, I keep fucking up because I keep looking at the Twitch chat and then, <laughs> and then turning back and my plane's facing the wrong way. Uh, your name is Peter? Yes, it is, Love Pop. My name is indeed Peter. You're so good at this. I know. It's because I keep looking at the Twitch chat. <laughs> no. Apparently I've dropped 4,000 frames. That's not that bad, actually. It's only 4%, which means I've given you a lot of frames today. You owe me money, probably. 
Um, turn Caspian to Command and Conquer. Alright. Oh, no, wrong button. Alright, I'm not going to look at the Twitch chat while I land, because that's actually even fucking harder than dogfighting. Uh, and right-click doesn't really work in 64-bit, so that's a problem as well. Uh, okay, right. Oh, shit. I landed this on an aircraft carrier uh, yesterday, so it can VTOL quite well, although this isn't a great profile for VTOL, and you kind of got to glide in pretty much. Um... Okay, yeah, this is actually a horrible place to veto. I like a bigger run-up. I didn't plan this very well. How about a nuclear-capable submarine? Uh, I think it could work on that if we can get a nuclear... I think there are nuclear missiles in North Kerman Dynamics. And if not, we do know the mod developer, and he's being part of the series, so I imagine we could, you know, get hooked up with that. Quite nice having the mod developer on our, on our roster. Okay, yeah, I fucked this up so badly. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I've just got to convince Harpooner to uh, make the mod in such a way that any time Penguin uses it, it just blows him up. Uh, <laughs> I'll convince him with candy and cookies. Uh, not candy and cookies. Candy and cookie. Strippers. That's how I convince, convince most people to do things. Yeah, North Kerman Dynamics does have nukes. Believe me, we know the mod developer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Rev and Pet, I know it has nukes, obviously. I mean, that's why we're adding it. I just meant nuclear missiles, because it has, I know it has bombs. Ooh, gentle. Beautiful-ish. <laughs> Beautiful-ish, a staple of any Air Force. All right, we'll leave this here for now. Conquered the island. I should probably actually do this. This could be used next turn for, uh, a little bit of dogfighting. Hmm? My name is Peter Rodman? No? I'm watching Jack Athrain. Mon alive. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, I, it does have dumb fire nuclear missiles, Revan. I've tried to use them in air combat before, but uh, didn't go well. Ooh, I know what I wanted to show you. Um, if this video plays, and give me a second, because it's sort of awesome, but is also uncompressed, so it might just not play. Also on my weird hard drive, his name is Peter Griffin, Ob. Oh yeah, it is playing. Alright, okay, so I've got to set this to window capture. Okay, yeah, this is what I did yesterday. Uh, take it back to the beginning. This is my new aircraft carrier that hovers. It's still in um, processing. This is the, obviously the, just the shell. It needs a lot more things. But that on the front is an MPAV Sabre Mark II. Landed. Isn't secured. It's just secured by the fact that the brakes are on and the air is hitting it in such a way that it just pushes it into the deck. But look how cool that is! Look how cool! And you skip ahead. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Then I go down the ramp. Um, here we are going down the ramp. Really perfect. The plane's fine right now, BT Dobbs. Um, then I try and get the plane out. <laughs> you can see me taking off now. Um, and it almost sort of works, but it stalls and then explodes. Like it but the pilot survive, so I'm basically God, right? Anyway. <laughs> How awesome is that? Uh, have you considered creating a hangar slash silo out of enlarged plates to help protect your plane slash ICBMs? I have fun death 712. Uh, this stream isn't jackass. Pfft. Pfft. That's what you say. I'd assume seeing... Oh, wow, that was uh, not a great frame rate, sorry. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite large. It can hold, I think, five uh, sabers, but it's probably mostly going to be used for helicopters. Yeah, that was pretty laggy, I guess. Um, what do I want to do now? You know what I've all, uh, I've been meaning to do? <laughs> Try out my uh, <laughs> my um, my tactical bomber for dogfighting. Make like ten bombers and use burn together to create formation and carpet bomb at enemy bases. I'm working on some burn together stuff. I'm gonna get some more water now though. Uh, 
Oh, doesn't help my throat. Oh, I know what I want to do. Have a fight with my new two new fighters. Yeah, I'm working on some Burn Together stuff. Although the problem is Burn Together was made for a basic atmospheric model and now it's less basic so it doesn't work so well. Hey, Epic Nether. Um, oh, the Nether. I haven't played Minecraft in so long. I don't know, Minecraft got less fun after I killed the Ender Dragon. There's actually a video of that on my channel somewhere. Got like fuck all views because no one wants to watch Minecraft. Because of all the Minecraft. Oh. Also, that Minecraft YouTuber turned out to be a pedophile. Lion Maker? I don't know. I, I actually quite like Drama Alert Nation. Um, no, not Drama Alert Nation, just Drama Alert. Although it's unregulated news, so I don't know how I feel about it actually. Alright, this is going to fight my new fighter. The one you saw at the start of the stream. You should make a plane that can decouple itself into two halves. Oh, Starship. Oh, yeah, Starship Enterprise. Smart. Modern Life, should I send you some ships? I'm okay for now, and I can't use them in collaborative warfare. I've explained this a lot of times. Uh, if you ask any of the questions that are in my FAQ video, I'm just going to point you towards my FAQ video. Peter, I will find you on Facebook. Good fucking luck. As a football manager, uh, with the same name as me, so it's quite hard to find me. In addition, no offense, but I probably won't accept your request. Um. Oh, how did those guys die? Cause they challenged me. All right, let's fuck. Let's fuck these guys up. <laughs> oh, Lars, holy shit! Sorry, I dropped my bag of 9-11. Yeah, hey, that's not funny. I thought it was fucking... When I woke up this morning, it was a massive bang. I thought it was going to be... I thought there was like a 9-11 Canary Wharf going on. Like, genuinely. I was fucking terrified. I actually wasn't that terrified. Nothing happened. Found you? Well, fact, I'm sorry, but I... Um, firstly, please don't spread the link. And secondly, I, I regret to inform you that I won't be... Uh, Accepting any requests on Facebook because it's a personal Facebook, you know, it's like obviously Twitter's fine because that's not my personal Twitter That's my tape gaming Twitter. Not that I have a personal Twitter. Oh also everyone go and follow me on Twitter It's I think in the description maybe You know, what? I'm gonna link everybody my Twitter Because I want followers I think it's just tape gaming so go find me bitch uh, if you want, yeah, so if you want to social media me, there, that's how to social media me. Is that an Elysium flag? Mad Hatter diced? Yeah, enter flag. <laughs> oh, oh, it was great, I jumped onto, um, uh, enter Elysium stream the other day, just like, was like, hi Elysium, two people recognized me instantly, it was great. It almost says, turn off the vibrator. All right, okay. Wait, you know my last name. Same as that football manager. I don't have oh, nine nine new followers on Twitch. Thank you, people. Once I tried to do what Scott Manley did, the uh, huge flying runway but bigger. Oh yeah, I have a normal non-flying runway. <laughs> not a normal. I meant like an aircraft carrier, not just not 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 just that. Nuke the entire world. Mad Matt, you crazy. Grab the popcorn. We shall fight. Grab your coat. You've pulled. Grab a goat. you bulled. I couldn't watch a stream Twitch login problems. What the devil? Oh, Lars, Jesus. Lars, that's offensive. You didn't say mind fjorha at the end. What have I told you? See, you thought it was going to be the other thing, but it wasn't. Oh, four more people following me on Twitch. Alright, that's good. <laughs> oh, should probably tell myself on Team B. 
Hello, all I love high school. All right, Mad Hatter. No one likes high school. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm all grown up now. No, I'm not. I'm just out of well, sixth form, which is basically just high school, and I hated every minute of it. School's another place for smart people, Morty. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, school just wasn't a place for me. Not because I was too smart for it, just because I'm just not very good at being at school. Not that I would leave school in the day, just that I just didn't really like it. But I much prefer university, it's a much better environment. But not to say that you shouldn't work hard in school, I still worked hard. Ish. I mean, I mean, sorta. <laughs> but still. Anyway, enough about school. It depresses me, I... Uh, oh, oh, I forgot that it can shoot backwards. You're a dick, plane! <laughs> yeah, that's the only problem about beating this plane, is it can shoot backward. Hey, bitch. My fucking missiles aren't turning anymore, so that's good. Oh, they are! Motherfucker. Obviously, I'm happy that the missiles didn't kill him, because that's my plane, but... Fine, we're doing that again. You should build a prison and start capturing POWs. Well, I kept Jombie for a while, but he fucking survived, like, missiles from penguins, so I'm kind of scared to keep him around now. Um, actually, no, I do have a plan for a prison next time I capture Jombie. I'm going to put him in a box, and I'm going to basically just suspend that box over the edge of a cliff so that he's just unable to get back so that I can sell him. Not even to penguin. <laughs> It's so awkward rooting for both teams. I know. Like that time I was a double agent for Hitler. I mean, that time I was at a Jets and Yankees game? You you don't say it can shoot backwards. Well, it can shoot sort of backwards. I wonder if it's even beatable. Hopefully not, because then I'm never going to have to fight it, hopefully. You weren't using the engine. Not so much. Someone ran out of something today. It's... Um... Ooh, holy hell. Wasn't really paying attention again. Apparently I have, uh, just like... I'm just reading the chat. Make the prison massive and indestructible and <laughs> to hold at least 30 couples. What are, you, what are you saying? What are you saying, Lars? What does this tank you are making look like, Mr. T? It looks vaguely tank-like. It hovers, has a big cannon. I might show you later. It's not in this save, so I'll have to put it through. But build an assault gun. I don't really know what that is. I mean, that's... I mean, just... An ass Isn't that any gun I use for attacking? The nuke the prison. Now it would break the Kneva Convention, I'd be thrown out of Congress, leaving Aganar, well, le leaving the Tea Party pretty high and dry um, in terms of politics. Although, if we don't have to follow Congress rules, who gives a fuck? Although, I'm not exactly sure how um, the co how Congress corresponds to, like, alliances. Penguin's maddeningly unclear about it, um, and he does kind of almost have final say on non-Congress rules, because it's kind of his thing. Alright, let's try and kill this this time. Psych! Death, 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 death. <laughs> that might do it. Just before it takes off. Although it takes off quite quickly with those two jump jets on. Yeah, it's not going to get him. Although if it does, I'll be incredibly happy. I have to stay perfectly behind him. Death. If a hellfire gets him in the air, that'd be insane. Nope. Uh, obviously not. Does it turn around? Oh my god, it totally turned around and tried to chase him. What a plucky little missile. Aw, it could be a kid story. About murder. That's what most kid stories are about. I mean, fucking read them, they're awful. But you know, so is the Bible, so... Just, I mean, the subject matters. Oh, wrecked. 
wonder what I got. I want to... Damn it. There's too many parts around for me to check planes easily. I think I hit an engine. Oh, that's going to limit his ability to turn. Although now I'm in front and I'm going to get killed by his turrets. Oh no, he's not even shooting at me. Complex. Can you see two engine trails down there? There are two engine trails, but that's because of the jump jets. Not sure what I clipped off. I'm hoping an engine. No, I think I see two. Fuck! Nope, I definitely got one. Yeah, ooh, clicked out of the window. Now everything's fucked. Oh, wrecked. Okay. Thank God, because this is my air superiority fighter. <laughs> Although it would be useful if I could just use the Empath Mark II Saber. Maybe I'll eventually make one. Make a suborbital bomber. Actually been thinking about it recently. Uh, Amram? Sidewinder. Death. Oh, both missed. What a bitch. Wrecked. This can actually land at like 30 meters a second because it can come down quite hard. It's actually awesome to see if I can do it. I did you talk about armies, my internet decided to fuck itself. Oh, I, I wasn't saying much, I was just kind of killing a thing. Have you got the rules written down? Yeah, somewhere. The rules... There's quite a lot of rules. Most of them are quite small things that like pertain to craft. Um, the other things... Rules that are made in Congress... Well, basically, the rules we set out, like, game rules, like, you, can, you can't you can use, like, indestructible parts, you um, can only launch, like, one plane, two turrets per turn, you can only take two bases per turn, um, you can, like, the amount of things you can put on certain craft, that, you have to follow them, or your turn just doesn't count, basically. Um, but Congress rules, you don't actually have to follow, like, the Kineva Convention, um, like, the space violence, like, shooting... You can shoot stuff in space if it's aggressive, but you can't shoot, um, like, spy satellites and things. Or steal them. Um, so those are just guidelines, and you can break them, but then you get thrown out of Congress, which means you can't create rules to benefit yourself, basically. And some alliances fall apart without Congress. Anyway, that went well. <sighs> no cheating. Yeah. So that's how our rule structure works. Um, and then some stuff just kind of goes before the Congress and we decide on it. Um, it's often unofficially. Pat YouTube, Peter Taylor, fucking hell, the, you know, the football manager who's dead. Yeah, the, no, the, oh no, the Kineva Convention came in after, after I shot all those people who were defenseless. So that wasn't a war crime, because there were no rules. I'm very particular about, uh, so how about attacking in armies? What do you mean? Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh yeah, I have a bunch of other craft I could show you, but it's in a different save, and it's where all my stuff is stored. Oh yeah, I did want to show the aircraft carrier off. Yeah, Pack, that's that's the dead football manager. I think. That's what I was told by someone. I don't give a fuck about football, so I don't really know, but... Yeah. Footballer. Oh, maybe just footballer. Yeah, and football manager. Oh, there were two. Well, whomever. Uh, like, huge tank armies. Yeah, we can do that. You can... You can... There's no... Have you got Rainbow Six Siege? No. I probably should get it. I'm just, just my PC is kind of shitty right now. <clears throat> but it will be upgraded, and soon I will have two PCs, because I'll have enough leftover parts, because I'm getting new processor, RAM, and motherboard. And I already have another graphics card, power supply, fan, like, cooler. Um, so then I'll just need, like, a case and a hard drive and a screen. So there's a convention that you can't steal comm satellites, but no one can communicate if you steal them, so it's clearly the perfect crime. <laughs> yeah, you can't tell anyone it's been stolen, but... Uh, anyway. Bitch. Oh, I was doing the similar thing earlier. Because uh, I do this all the time, because it's fun. Anyway, let's just look at my crazy inventions. Play Gmod. Nope. Everybody does that. Um, what CPU and GPU are getting? Um, oh, I have a, I'm not getting a new GPU um, yet. 
I have a 270X, but I already have a AMD 7770, which is left over from a long time ago, so that would be the GPU I'd use. But the CPU I'm getting is the Intel um, i5-6600K, the uh, Skylake. Yeah, this is basically the shell of the aircraft carrier I was talking about. I think I might have one about, actually. Yeah, I think I probably do. How do you propose to beat everyone? Uh, what, speed is, pay, 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 what PC specs do I have right now? Uh, my processor is an AMD FX4100 uh, 270X uh, as a graphics card AMD. Um, there's some shitty micro ADX, mini ATX motherboard, 750 watt power supply, Kingston 120 gig SSD, um, 8 gigs of Kingston HyperX RAM, um, a, a terabyte hard drive, 500 gig hard drive. I just got a new hard drive for my laptop to store more stuff on. Uh, like videos, um, and then a 1080p LG screen, and then two 14, not 14, uh, like 720-ish P screens from BenQ. Uh, what is the goal of life? Of my life? Um, world dominate. Um, <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, I do have my aircraft carrier out here. Build a nuke-proof tank. Well, I mean... Mate, could you try my missile add-on? You have a missile add-on? I mean, I could try it, not right now, but... Uh, Ooh, and I do have the saber out here. Oh yeah, I was missile testing it with its new flak cannons. Let's try landing on this. I landed on it yesterday quite well. Don't know if I can do that again. Oh, those are the right engines. Good. So many metal plates. Actually, not that many. They're all scaled up. It's only 116 parts, and that includes everything. Like, there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just like they're all scaled up 400%, so it's, you know, quite big. But it does weigh 750 tons currently, and that's with no planes and not everything yet. Bye, Modern Alive. Nice seeing you. At the moment, uh, I'm saving for the second monitor and second GPU. Yeah, I was thinking about just getting another 270X, but I thought I might as well just buy something new because some stuff doesn't support two GPUs. But my G I will get a new one at some point. But yeah, right now I need to get a new processor and motherboard because my motherboard's slowing down my RAM and my processor's kind of shitty. Um, yeah, and that way I'll have enough stuff for a new computer at some point. Ah, sedate flying. If you win with all, with the Third Reich, I mean, happy, f if you win, you will make the Third Reich, I mean, happy free world. If I win, the only, the main reason I want to win <laughs> is because, oh, fucking shit, I just crashed, didn't I? Okay. The main reason I want to win is because Series 2, we're doing it in space with the uh, solar system, so I want Kerbin as my base planet. I don't know why, but it would be nice. Actually, I kind of don't. I want to be in exile. I want to have some backstory about being exiled. Maybe go to Elu. Can you show us the current map? This isn't the collaborative warfare save, um, so not really. Oh, what you mean the map of stuff? I haven't really got a current one right now. I have. Uh, I could make a current one, but that would take a little while. When will you move to KSP 1.0.5? Whenever all the mods we use are supported in 1.0.5, which will probably be never. Um, that flat stall is real. Yeah, that's why another reason why this isn't a perfect fighter, because it does flat stall. Whereas the HSI Mark II R2, it's almost impossible to flat stall. I only really flat stall when I'm looking away, so. I mean, that's to bear in mind. Would Velox come back in season two? If he wants to, but uh, I, <laughs> it might be a similar scenario. I think we might just use Harpooner. Um, but we, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know. I would like to do some more stuff with Velox. He does Elite Dangerous, but he's really good at it, so I would be terrible. But uh, we were thinking about maybe asking him if he wanted to do Civ, but who knows? He's, you know. Okay. Yeah, this is really hard. I was actually working on Kato Bar uh, yesterday as well. I was thinking it would be smart to be able to uh, uh, catapult aircraft off, but 
it's just easier to have VTOLs. Although H side mark ones would be really useful on everything, because they're awesome. Okay, I really need to slow down. I'm not going slow enough. Velux was like Poland. Oh, yeah, Poland didn't do so well in the Second World War. Except um, Nazis invading them did mean that we joined in with the war. Ish. I mean, we kind of got fucked right at the start, and then then we were like, "Hey, America, help!" And they were like, "Okay." And we were like, "All right." And it didn't go like that well at all. We were like, "Hey, America, help!" And they were like, "Nah." And we were like, "Come on!" And they were like, mm. "And then we were like, please." And they were like, mm. "And then we were like, please." And then they sent us some World War One boats. And then I don't know. They joined at some point. I don't really. I don't really know. Uh, had advantages of A and B crossfire over blah 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 blah. I see. Oh, I did not know that about SLI and things. If you pick the smallest planet, uh, it will. Yeah, I'm not sure. We haven't really figured out all the rules. I think there might just be a bit of hyper editing, hyper editing into space, um, or something like that, so that we don't have to build crazy launch vehicles in series two, because we're going to be probably building super capitals and stuff. So I mean, there's that to bear in mind. Okay, and activate engine. Alright, I think I'm going slow enough now to actually pull this off. Alright. Hey, Modern Alive, you're back. Um, what, is, what was... What's going on, Tony? I oh, don't know, I can't read all the chat. That's just an impossibility. I'm not God. Well, obviously I'm basically gone, but um, would you would what would someone else win at the end of season, e.g. a tiny cup of unlimited respect? I don't know. Maybe we'd pitch it and buy them a 3D printed Kerbal or something. I actually did get offered a 3D printed Kerbal ship for free, just for doing like being like, hey, people, look how cool this is. Buy the ship. But I I don't know. I just never got around to it. I have my own 3D printed thing, and I feel really weird about ads. Um, I really would like one of them. I wonder if the deal's still on the table. Hopefully. I also got sent a free copy of Simple Planes. I should play that because they gave me a free copy, but I don't know. I'm not very good at it, and uh, it's kind of not really. M I thought it would be my game, really. I thought it would be the, my exact perfect kind of game, but it just wasn't, so. <laughs> so. So thanks for sending me that free stuff. Went really well for you. But yeah, free stuff's awesome. Mr. Womble, I'm basically God. Yeah, I, I am basically God, you know? All of my godlike things I do. My benevolence, because I'm so nice. You know how, <laughs> how totally not a bastard I am. Um, I'm not a literal bastard. Just to, you know, shoot it. No, I'm a nice person. Uh, okay, this is actually going much worse than my last landing. It's just quite laggy as well, because I'm streaming. Where they, when you do it with that, it's much nicer. That's the problem, is obviously this would probably end up having maybe 200 parts with other planes and helicopters on there, so it would be quite laggy to land on there. But when I get my Sky Lake, not so much. Uh, no play simple planes, you can dogfight. Oh my god, I don't know, I can't figure out the controls. and <laughs> I probably should. And it, it does look like a pretty good game, like especially considering it was uh, originally a mobile game. And it's actually a game, unlike most mobile games, like Candy Crush, which is just his. It's just basically a random number generator, expressed to you through the medium of a bunch of random pictures. Oh, oh, glory to us, Otsuka. Throttles on too high. Oh, that's actually not a bad landing. A bit bumpy, but all right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Play FPL, maybe. Played a bit of FPL recently. I'm terrible at it. Ah. Oh. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate the awesome power. That's not the right button. You have to do this so that it doesn't lift off when you go really fast. Uh, if I quick save there, then I can show you what happens if I do go really fast. And we can have a live demonstration of what I showed you earlier. Glory to our swords, God. Lift off into the air, my pretty. Oh, pressed the wrong button. 
crawl from here. Nice. <laughs> people are yelling FDR. Modern Alive, um, this is an Athenian democracy, so there's only two people in the chat right now who can vote. Um, Arsotska is that random border patrol game. Yeah, I know. It seems like a really weird idea, border patrol, but apparently Papers, Please is amazing. I watched a playthrough and then never really got into it. Apparently you really start to care about that family. Oh shit, there's no air intakes. So, infinite fuel. You should nuke every capital and salt the soil and then raise the city. That's um, that's how I imagine you were saying that, M Mad Matt. Not just like, you should nuke every capital and salt the soil and raise the city. Yeah, serious lag, especially while streaming. It wasn't actually so bad yesterday, but I guess it is just a streaming thing. Don't worry, we'll have my Skylake soon. Ooh, better not time warp with an aircraft on it. You know what might be fun? Trying to take off just at the last minute with the aircraft. Before it destroys itself. Alright. It's gonna be fun. Ish. Problem is... Is it's obviously when I raise the gear, she's going to fly back into the bridge, which is really pathetic right now. I will be fixing that. But yeah, you can imagine this kind of carrier, pretty reasonable amount of parts, obviously minus the lag right now. Um, you could fit, if you move this back a bit, you could probably fit three... Yeah, I mean, if you put them on the sides, you could probably six, fit six of these planes on here. The problem is defending them. Because if you're going to have six high-value targets on what is effectively just a giant target, you're going to need... Well, this currently has two flat cannons, I might up that and put some missiles on it. But you're going to need other boats to defend it, so I'd also need a couple of corvettes, um, maybe a frigate destroyer, something like that. My ideal way would be to um, basically have a, a bunch of ships surrounding it so that you have to fly through their guard range before you get into range of the carrier and then have a ship defending the carrier. I used a cheat engine to see. Play, please, uh, please play this song. What is it? Is it just like... I'm gonna turn it down a shit ton. Okay, I'm hey playing baby, it. baby, wake up from your sleep. Oh my we god. We have arrived onto the future. Alright. The whole world is become... <laughs> electronic. <laughs> supersonic. What the fuck is this? Supersonic. <laughs> electronic. We gotta take off, boys. Hey baby, ride with me away. We doesn't have much time. <laughs> what the fuck is this song? Oh my god, you're gonna hit the tower! Oh no, we're gonna hit the tower! We're gonna hit the tower! Yes! Glory to Osatska! It actually didn't even need its engines to take off, but I needed to get away from this. <laughs> fuck yeah! How fucking awesome was that? Oh yeah, that was just um, Lars. How fucking awesome was that? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm watching it again on the stream! Oh, that was fucking awesome. Someone had their message deleted. And that, this is the fate I escaped from by taking off. I love how I'm 500 meters away and it's still massive. Good guy, good, good job, guys. You escaped the horrible fate of remaining on the carrier. <laughs> Build a nuke sub, please. I probably will at some point. Submarines are really hard. I'm not going to build one on stream. Um, and... Ooh, wrong button. Destroy the evidence. Getting rid of evidence. It's my getting rid of evidence song. Ooh, and flat stall. And now I'm going to die anyway. That's depressing. Come on. Hey, didn't die. Nice. Nice. Hey, Jester the Fool. Oh, Modern Life, did you just miss it? Oh, wrecked. <laughs> that, because that was fucking epic, I have to say. That was like maybe the most epic thing anyone's ever seen. The other person, Nuka Valenti. Apparently, what's your loophole in the rules, uh, Mad Matt? Uh, no, we're not playing songs. Uh, papaya guy. That's not a thing. One. And it was done by one of the members of my Athenian democracy. Oh. Yeah. Tape. Uh, the F-16 can climb at 90 degrees directly 
after takeoff and goes three kilometers in 46 seconds. All right, let's see if mine can do that. Obviously, this isn't my F-16, and my vaguely something like an F-16, the HSI Mark One can't do that. I think this can go into a vertical climb if I can get it going vertical. Yeah, see, vertical climb VTOL. See, isn't this such an awesome plane? <laughs> Papaya guy's saying things, just getting wrecked. And that was less than 36 seconds, 3600 meters. Wrecked. This can actually glance the edge of space if I wanted to. Oh no, my plane accidentally hit your satellite, penguin. Yeah, I know, I, Lars, I watched a whole documentary in the F-16 yesterday. <laughs> I love the F-16, you don't have to sell it to me. It's my... probably my favorite aircraft right now. Whew, anyway, I think I might actually call this a day in a little bit. Uh, tape, if you attach, like, four planes together, does that count as... <laughs> no, it doesn't. Obvious bullshit is... In ca is, um... incorporated into the rules. But yeah, I might go soon, because I'm tired and my mouth, my throat really hurts for some reason. Power beats aerodynamics, hell yeah. The F-15 is pretty cool. There you go. 224 uh, apoapsis. But it's also really overpriced as well, much like the F-22 and the F-36. It's because it's designed, not the F-36, the F-35. The F-16 is actually a reasonable price, hence everyone having them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Path use, we can watch Lost in a little bit. Um, yeah, I was just saying I'm going to end the stream pretty soon, because this was mad as fuck, and I think it can't get any madder. It's Andy pa Andy Pandy! Some bitches! Another part of my Athenian democracy. You are really amazing. Thank you. Amassing. Are you saying I'm fat, Dallum? Because that sounds like it's what you're saying. <laughs> Cause that's what it sounds like. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, handy pandy. <laughs> All my mods are here today. Oh, except packed. Packed. Wait. Wait, who isn't here? Oh. <laughs> I actually thought packed was someone else this whole time. I thought you were one of my. I'm so sorry, Pat. You're my first mod. I totally thought you were um, Latra. What's his name on this? That's why you didn't know my full name. My my OG mods are here. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad. Uh, yeah, I. Yeah, but all my uh, OG. Yeah, sorry, Pat. I totally thought you were a different mod. You have a. I are you you have a similar name to my other one. I've totally forgotten Latra's name on this. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm so happy. All my OG mods are here. Uh, they got Andy Pandy, Lars, and... and Pag. But what, what's what the fucking guy's name? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Pag. All of the disrespect. What the fuck is this in the mountains? What the devil? Is this a base? Oh, it is. Oh, it's my base. Yeah, I know, I know, Pack. You, uh, you just you have a slightly different name on... <sighs> anyway, it's okay. He's mildly offended. Um, it'll be, it'll be alright. Yeah, I know, it's going to explode really soon. Want to pull a high G turn? Yeah! Wow, didn't break. That's quality engineering. Right there. And it's fine! That is some quality fucking engineering. I'm sorry, Pag. I love you. No, Pag, you gotta come back! I'm sorry, you just have a slightly similar name to the other guy! Anyway. Yeah, that was a mad turn, I have to say. That was, uh, hyper-maneuverability at its best. Ooh, and now it flips out and dies at a very low speed. Luckily, it's a VTOL. 
What can't I do? Uh, 20 G's. Yeah, I wonder what how big that turn was. Oh, game crashed. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, it was only 14.1. It's like a bitch turn. I could survive that. And the game's crashed. No landing. Oh, no, it hasn't. Surprising. That's rare. Handy pandy. That maneuver is impossible. <laughs> is it, Lars? Because I just did it. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Everyone can vote except the people who don't agree with me. Tape 2016. That's not how this works. It's an Athenian democracy, which means you can only vote if you've um, done some sort of uh, war fighting. So I guess my mods. Hashtag tape for president. Uh, only 69 seconds, mate. Um, ooh, also, this is my secret rocket launch facility. Please don't tell Penguin, but I have a secret rocket launch facility that he doesn't really know about because he kind of only thinks KSC2 is my only one at the equator, whereas I also have this one. So, I mean, don't be shitty, don't tell him because he's going crazy trying to take the KSC2, whereas I have this, my pit. Yes, Matthews, I will be right with you. Like never. Um. Tape better than Trump. Well, I mean, like, Trump's not hard to be better than that. I mean, you know, he's uh, not even a candidate anymore. He's just constantly being like, yeah, I'm totally fucking in the, uh, in the race. And everyone's like, no, you're not anymore. You're clearly a racist. And then, <laughs> and why would you want him running America? He's gone bankrupt so many times. I tell you, you should uh, pretend to wreck your planes in the middle of nowhere and then have a massive <laughs> air force. Oh yeah, just like fake footage. Although my, I will have a massive air. Um, uh, I once fought tape on a DMP server. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, hey, Pax, can you ban Matthews? Uh, actually, I can do that. No, don't ban. Um, time out. Okay. Sorry, okay, uh, scrap that, scrap that, scrap that, don't ban her, just, just, I've timed her out, it's okay. That's fine, that wasn't malicious, that was just being mean, because I know that person. That is, that is my wonderful girlfriend, who is now timed out. <laughs> I'm actually gonna undo that. Oh, can't. <laughs> Shit. Um... Okay, I can't untime you out. Oh, getting a call. Afternoon. <laughs> anyway, I'm still midstream, so I'll call you back in a bit. <laughs> I didn't ban you, I timed you out. You'll be out in 600 seconds. <laughs> anyway, I've crashed my plane now, so I hope you're happy. I hate you. <gasps> well, anyway, talk in a bit. She wasn't so happy that I, uh... Oh, fact, I hope you didn't actually ban her. I just timed her out. <laughs> Wait, you can untime people out? I don't know how to do that. I don't have that kind of power. Anyway, this is done. Um, oh no, any landing you walk away from is a successful one. Hmm. I wonder if I can jump on here. I can't see this going wrong. Oh, and I also have infinite fuel. Totally forgot about that. I want to get in the engine. If I can get in the... Hey! <laughs> no! She's back? Oh, thank you, Pact. That was very nice of you. Anyway, I'm uh, gonna call this here to, uh, you know, um, 
You know what, Pack? Just for that, I'm timing you out. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, bye bye. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been streaming or whatever. All right. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what's R9K mode? What the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck is R9K mode? Bye-bye.